what is going on everyone welcome back this is going to be combo video number three and i had to whip out the old school orcus glass panel play mat um i got this i think i got this in like 2020 i think it was a while ago but um the first combo we're going to be doing is just if you open wanted with orcus nightmare so let's just get right into it um just going to be activating wanted Boom, and we're going to be searching Diabelle. Now we're gonna go Diabelle effect, pitching to special. Diabelle effect, we're going to be adding deception. Now from this position, we have deception on board. Now if you wanna play around Ogre, Ash, anything like that, I'm sure they would have Ash the Wanted but if they're trying to get value, um, let's go ahead and banish the Nightmare right now while we have the target on board so we can send the Harpoor to Grave. So just in case this gets interrupted, we have follow-up with the Orcus Harpoor and Grave already. So from here, we're going to go Deception, Tribute Diabell, and we're going to add Hollowed Azamina. Now from here, we're just going to go Hollowed Azamina, Send Deception, Summon Mercilago. Mercilago effect. We are going to add our second deception. Now from here, we're going to Harpoor. Boom. Summon out Girsu. Girsu effect. We're going to send our World Wand. Side note, why haven't we gotten a super world one yet? You know, let's, let's work on that, Konami. Now from here, we're going to link these two away. And make ourselves a Galatea. Now that we have the Azamina in Grave, we can go ahead and bounce back the Azamina to add ourselves the Hollowed Azamina back. Now we're going to activate Deception, activate Hollowed Azamina to give us another layer of protection. So we're going to send this to Grave and summon out our Sylvia. So we'll just put that over here. And now these are in Grave. Now before we go ahead and banish the Wanted from Graveyard, what we're gonna do is deck then a little more. So let's go ahead and World Wand. Banish to special summon back out our Harpoor right here. Now that all of our bricks are out of the deck, the main thing we don't want to draw back into is going to be the World Wand. So now that all that stuff is out of the deck, let's go ahead and Wanted and put Deception at the bottom of the deck and banish this and we just get a free card. Let's put that face down. Could be anything. And now from here, we're going to use Galatea, put the world one back, and we're going to set our crescendo. And then from this position, we're just going to go Ding Girsu, Ding Effect, to equip the Orcus Nightmare from Grave or from Banished. And now we're going to link these away and put ourselves another Galatea pointed at the Sylvia. That way it can't be destroyed by battle. We have basically one Omni, two Omnis, and a graveyard filled with follow-up. So we have Harpoor for follow-up. We have Nightmare for follow-up. And then... This is gonna be follow up as well. So if we negate and banish something during our turn, we can banish and add ourselves another gear suit. We can add a harpoor, depending on what we actually need. So we'll put that right back here. And then we have one random card in hand. So off of one wanted and one Orcus nightmare, this is another board you can end with. Now, if you're not trying to go the counter trap route, you can go the Babel route. 
which is not a bad option as well if you're trying to do more interruption. If you're playing against, I don't know, let's say Tempi and you know they're on board breakers like Lightning Storm or multiple Lightning Storms, Regekis, Dark Holes, etc. You can do the Babel instead. And now you'll have all of these options to use during your opponent's turn. So let's say you, like, you can banish this, send Orcus uh, Skeleton to the graveyard, special summon this back out, you can do a non target send, or you can equip from banish. So if you do this, send this, send Symbol Skeleton, banish Symbol Skeleton, special ding, ding, re-equip this or Symbol Skeleton, now you're protected from destruction, or you can just non target send something. So it's a lot of lines you can do, Personally, I like to go the counter trap route just because it's more protection for me. And then when this goes to the graveyard, again, it's follow up again. So all we're going to do is just put this back in the extra deck and add that hollowed as Amina back. And then during the end phase as well, this deception, since we tributed it for the hollowed as Amina, we're going to have that reset. So we're going to recycle all that again as well. So let's say we go to our turn again. This is still face up. And then that Sylvia is in graveyard. So we're going to add back the hollowed as Amina. Boom. And we can just activate again. Send the deception. Summon back out the Mercy Lago. Mercy Lago, add the wanted. And just repeat, recycle. And you can go that route. And also, depending on what you draw, you might want to go Orcus Return. And just draw extra hand traps, more interruption, more extenders. So... If you don't want to go Crescendo, you can always go Babel or Orchestrated Return. Depending on what your hand is, depending on what your opponent's playing, depending on your play style, you can go basically any route that you want. I personally just like having that spell speed for counter trap, can't really do anything. And it's just the best type of protection with follow up, along with the Sylvie on the board, two Omni Negates. Usually paired with hand traps and follow up, you're you're gonna be in a good situation. Can't complain. All right, so let's go ahead and reset all of this. Put that over here. Now, what's another combination that we haven't done yet? I guess we can go wanted with harpoor. So if we just open these two, it's almost literally the same thing. We're just gonna go wanted effect. We're going to add ourselves a Diabelle. Boom. This goes to Grave. Diabelle effect. Pitch the Harpoor summon. This is going to add us Deception. So we have Deception on field. Now we're going to go... Honestly, you can either go Deception to this. It depends on what you're afraid of. Do you want your Azamina stuff to go through, or do you want your Harpoor stuff to go through? So if you're afraid of Ash Blossom, I would bait with the Azamina stuff first, because you have way more extension with the Orcus. But in this hypothetical situation, we are no hand traps, your opponent has nothing. So we're just going to go Deception, Tribute, add the Hollowed Azamina. Activate Hollowed Azamina, send Deception, send Mercilago, Mercilago effect. Oh, shuffled that back in, I guess. We're going to add another Deception. Now we're going to Harpoor. Harpoor effect, we're going to summon out Girsu, Girsu effect. Send Nightmare, and then we can go Nightmare Effect, Target, send the World One. Now from here, we can link these two away. Make ourselves a Galatea. And now that we have the Azamita Engrave, we can return that, add this back to hand. And then we can start setting up our Omni Negates. So we're just going to go Deception, Activate, Send, Reveal Sylvie, Summon, Boom. Now we have one layer of protection. Now from here, we're just going to Banish. And 
and special back out that harpoor. And now again, now that everything is out of the deck, we can go ahead, put that first deception back to the bottom. Boom. Banish the wanted. We draw a card. Oh, wow, crescendo. So let's do another, because we're gonna be using that to set. But from here, again, we're just gonna go ding, ding effect. We're going to re-equip right here. Boom, boom, boom. And then we're going to relink all of this into another Galatea. Then we can just do Galatea effect. Put back the world wand, set crescendo. We have one card in hand, end phase, reset the deception. Right there. And then we're at this basically the same endpoint as we were before, but with you know different starting cards. So again, remember, you don't have to end on crescendo. I just like ending on crescendo. You can always go babble, you can always go return, depending on what the situation needs, depending on what your opponent's on, or if you just need to dig for more cards. So, this is where we're at. Um, I guess the next videos that we're gonna do, we're going to just do test hands. So we're just gonna shuffle up the deck, draw five cards, and see what we get. But um, two more combos for y'all, hope you like it. Um, they pretty much end on the same board. Now you just know the lines to get there. And again, your end board can always just be Sylvia with Crescendo. But, um, oh, let's do one more. Actually, with Bistules starting to become more popular because Malice is going to be around. So, let's just do, we'll just do that one over again. So, if we're afraid of a Bistule... So let's go just Harpoor and Wanted. So let's just play through that again. But this time we're going to be able to play around Abyssal. So Abyssal, that's going to mess up our Azamina stuff, so to say. So we're going to go Wanted. We're going to go Wanted. Add Diabell. Diabell effect. Pitch. Harpoor. Harpoor is going to be in Grave. d is going to add us our Deception. Now, from here, we can go Deception, Tribute, add ourselves the Hollowed Azamina, activate Hollowed Azamina, send Deception, summon out Mercilago. Mercilago effect is going to add us another Deception, Oh, that might be at the bottom because we put it there. Yep, there we go. All right, now from here. Instead of going the link route, where we banish, summon our Gearsu out, and then dump, what we can do from this situation is just go ahead and hollow as Amina, bounce back from the field. That way we're not getting hit by a Bistial. And then add this back to hand. Now from this situation, we're just going to go Orcus Nightmare. Or not Orcus Nightmare. Harpoor. Summon out our Ding. Or not Ding. Uh, Gearsu. I'm fumbling all over my words. Gearsu effect. We're going to dump the Nightmare. Now, in this situation, we're down a monster. But not really, because we just have Gearsu effect. We're going to give a token to our opponent and ourself. Now from here, we can just go uh, Deception, Hollowed as Amina. Now we can bring ourselves out the Sylvia. Boom, boom. And then we can link these two away to make an IP Mascarena right here. And then we just go Nightmare, 
Send World Wand. Oops. Gosh, did I put it in the top of your deck? I did. Send World Wand, World Wand Effect. We're going to special back out our Harpoor. Boom. And now from here, we can just link these two away. Make our Galatea. There we go. Boom. And now we can do the same combo where we just go put the Deception at the bottom, banish the Wanted, draw a card, then Galatea effect, put back the Wanted, or not the Wanted, the World Wand, and set our one of three. So if we're trying to play around the Bistule, to, it's going to stop our one Omni from here. I'm sure they would use it earlier, but maybe they're just like, yo, we, we want to stop the Azamina stuff. Then that's one way to get to where you want to go. So now this can't be destroyed by battle um, or card effects now. So it's pretty protected. Um, Omni negate, one random card in hand, and one of these set. Preferably... I want to do this one just because it's the best protection, in my opinion. Um, but if you want to go this route here and you still have your loaded graveyard, the one thing that you're going to be missing in this combo is you're not going to be having this in graveyard because we don't have the extra body to go Dingirsu and then link that away and put this equip and put both in grave, make the Galatea again. But there you go. That's how you get there little longer video than usual. Um, I really appreciate y'all. I just like doing these combo videos. Orcus is one of my favorite decks. And yeah, so hope y'all liked it. Later. Peace. Have a great day.